Hello, hello, Dancing with the Stars fans. Oh, we are here to talk all things DWTS. I am Lauren Zima. I'm Katie Kraus. And I'm Deidre Behar. So excited. Yes. So excited, yes. you guys. A whole new season, so many contestants to discuss. So we're going to try to cram it all in. Please leave your comments and questions for us on ET's Facebook page right now because we are going to talk all things. I mean, four hours of dancing yeah. to discuss what right a now. Season. This is, I think, the oh. most exciting season we've had in a while. Everyone's pretty good. Everyone's good. We were saying this, you know. It's. I mean, a couple seasons ago, we had oh the angelic Bindi Irwin. Oh, of course, oh. out for Bindi, oh. our girl for life. Bindi, our girl for <laughs> life. I mean, but then I felt like. Let the season last season was a little, yeah. we were a little more mellow on it, but I'm excited for yeah. this. And we've got Max back, Cheryl back, Derek back, Julianne yes. in the judges yes. table. So, so much to talk about. We're going to dive right in. We're going to talk about some ladies first. Guys, Amber Rose. You know what? I feel like we were talking about this earlier. Yes. I really expected a lot more fierceness from Ba-boom. Amber. And I was surprised yes. how, I guess, calm she is. Let's Some of the show things that she one of her about. numbers right now. Look, uh, a little yeah. awkward. Yeah, I didn't love diff. I didn't yeah. love that dance move. I don't know why he put that in there. I don't think anybody doing that would have been flattering. The thing no. about Amber Rose is that in the media, she is, like you said, fierce. She is feisty. Mm. She is sassy and She's sexy. Sex. Mm-hmm. She's very reserved on this show, mm-hmm. and it's almost like, oh my gosh, I thought that she oozed confidence and sexuality, mm-hmm. and I'm not getting that. But it's the beginning of the competition. I'm sure Max will bring more of that out. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of nerves that go yes. into it, and they're kind of trying to figure yeah. out their footing. Mm-hmm. And, especially, <laughs> uh, the key word. and especially pairing her with Max, you know, he is known as this fiery guy. Yeah. I think we're seeing a more humble side of him. I mean, last night when Tom asked him about coming back to the show, he's just saying, you know, it's such a blessing to be here. It made all of our careers. I think he's gotten older and he's getting that perspective. So I, I thought they'd be this really sassy, fiery couple. and Not yet. Not yet, but I'm hoping see, it. see more. Yeah. I'm rooting for Amber. Like, you know, Amber, Amber's gotten slammed in the media a lot. I want this to be a moment for her where we see the real Amber, but I think she's got to get the confidence to bring it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agreed. All right, let's talk Miss Kramer. Let's show oh. a little her so dance. hot. We are loving Miss Kramer. Oh, yes. dangerous woman. Oh my god, you guys. Look at those facial oh. expressions. I mean, and the thing is, she introduced herself. She said, I'm a country girl. I'm not a dancer. So I love when we get these surprise successes. Yeah. You know? I mean, can we talk about her flexibility for a second? <laughs> my lips. For a girl who's not a trained dancer, she was in a full 180 and she's doing these lifts and she's mm-hmm. got these extensions. Her technique for being mm-hmm. a girl who is not a trained dancer is outstanding. I think she's going to go really far in I want to say, your comments are already coming in. Yari or Yeri, I'm sorry if I'm saying that name wrong. It's mm-hmm. very unique. I love Amber Rose. She can do it. I have faith in her. Yes, I think we, we all feel too. that way. Yes. And loving Miss Kramer. I know you're a big fan. <laughs> I'm such a fan. I thought it was so fun to watch her and Gavin DeGraw when she was dancing mm-hmm. to his song. One so many one tree That was the These one tree yes. hill fans. We we were oh and she's so just good. electrifying up there like you don't mm-hmm. want to take your eyes away because she's so pretty mm-hmm. she has great technique as mm-hmm. you said and there's something just very infectious about her and mm-hmm. honestly knowing what she is going yeah. through in her personal life right now i mean she's going through a split with her husband i really like when you see someone get a chance to like redeem themselves redeem, yeah and you know it's not that she's done anything wrong no. but just a chance to I get a distraction from yeah. that, and like I'm sure that we'll see some emotional dance numbers from her this season because yeah. of what she's going through, and she's just killing it. It's yeah. almost like she's channeling everything into the dancing, mm-hmm. which I which I really appreciate, and I feel like we see this rawness from her, and that's why we're connecting to her. Yeah, you see that really, really genuine, mm-hmm. relatable, mm-hmm. 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 totally, and love her. Mm-hmm. You know, with I, I can't say the, gleb. Gleb. gleb, gleb, just gleb, gleb. just gleb. What about that underwear <laughs> model situation oh last night? <laughs> gleb, so <laughs> steamy. I think, I think they have such great chemistry yeah. together. They yes. are both so fiery and good looking. Yes. I think her acting chops really are helping in this yes. competition. Those facial expressions, mm-hmm. so good. Yes, and uh, I loved how they put the disco ball over his his, his, his. disco ball. Ball. Oh, ball. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what did you guys think while we're kind of going through the dances of the '90s uh, TV show theme? I hit and miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it worked better for some people than it did for others. Overall, it's a really fun opportunity mm-hmm. for people to channel their past. I love seeing Maureen McCormick reunite with Florence mm-hmm. Henderson. I thought Lori doing DuckTales, a cartoon she had no idea existed but prior for to us, this. Fun. But for us, really fun. And, uh, you know, some people I didn't love as much, but my favorite of the night uh, was the Family Matters tribute. I was going to say, mm-hmm. I can't believe that Jaleel White showed up. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought it was so well executed and, and really, really fun. Did you like it? I did, yeah. I mean, 
mean, I, th- I again, I don't know. It, you know, you get nostalgic. It, it, yeah. I thought it was very ranging. You know, you had like X Files, the Induct. It was kind yeah. of it was a little <laughs> all over the place. But um, you know, Tammy is saying wrong person went home last night. Tammy, we are gonna get to that because Ooh. we have some thoughts. Uh, so let's fly through the rest of the ladies really quick. Uh, Mary Lou with one of our Ugh. favorites. Oh. Pff. With Sorry, Derek what? It's all over my face. What? Oh. I love Derek Huff. Let's I think show Mary he is Lou. The strongest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look. Wait. I mean, are you, if you not a look, Mary Lou fan? I love Derek. I think he's so fun to watch. He's the most talented pro dancer. I'm gonna go out on a limb mm-hmm. and say that. Yeah. And she, for me, I guess I was hoping for like a Jennifer Grey moment. Remember when she was paired yeah, with yeah. Derek Huff? And I'm just not getting that from her. I like her. Maybe it's just too early in the season. Mm-hmm. I'm not her biggest fan. I think she's really sweet, but like that's kind of where it's stopping. I, I guess I need to see more rawness from her. She's just like happy to be there, which is great. But Derek's such an amazing choreographer, and he can do so many different unique things that I, I just want that that X factor, and I'm not seeing it. I think we might get it moving forward. You know, mm-hmm. Derek in the past always gets paired with somebody usually pretty young and someone who's a pretty fantastic dancer. Uh-huh. I think it's awesome that they kind of threw a wrench in it. I was not expecting them to pair him with the 60-year-old TV actress, and hopefully he can inspire that, you know, Jennifer Grey moment and bring out the best, but it will be a challenge. Well, and we were saying, what if, we want to get into Miss Lori, what if Derek and Lori had been paired together? It would have been Too easy. I mean, Too easy. give them the mirror ball. Why oh even gosh. bother with this season? Yeah. yeah, let's show Lori and Max, and Angie says Lori and Max all all the way. God, she is so good. Ugh. I mean, Look this at is this girl. Week one, and mm-hmm. it's a perfect 10 in my book. And I will say, gymnasts who go on the show, and actually all Olympians, I remember those ice skaters were great. Yeah. I feel like they do have a little bit of an advantage just because they are so athletic. But it's her facial expression, it's her personality. She's mm-hmm. just fun to watch. Whoa. She is. She's like a human emoji. Yes. She's just always so full of life, and, and God, her technique is beyond. Lori Hernandez, human emoji. Yes. I love it. Uh, so yeah, Angie said Lori and Max all the way. And uh, let's get into the guys because we're getting your comments already. Like Tammy said, wrong person went home last night. Rebecca, Rick Perry really should have gone home. Okay, yeah. let's show real quick uh, Mr. Ryan Lochte. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into that. Okay, Ryan, there he is. So I don't hate it, but it needs a lot of refining. <sighs> um, his musicality really isn't there. His extensions are not as fluid as they should be. Uh-huh. But, you know, I'm all about a second chance. I don't think he's there to prove that he's this amazing dancer. I think he's there to show America he's not, you know, he d- we shouldn't have this bad taste in our mouth that we do coming off of the incident after the Olympics. Let's take a listen, guys. I want to show so last night they ran these packages why the men are there why the women are here and we had heard Ryan's uh, explanation for why he was going on Dancing with the Stars in our interviews those are up on etonline.com but let's take a listen in what he said in, in his dancing package that was irresponsible and immature I have so many wonderful fans I feel like I let them all down I hit rock bottom but I'm a fighter and I won't give up. So I'm gonna train even harder because this is my second chance. I want to show people a new side of me. So dramatic, <clears throat> do you believe him? I'm, I'm gonna, I am not trying to put down an Olympian here. No. But he doesn't come across as super genuine in that to me. And I don't know if it's because maybe he's not so great with like a rehearsed package being put together, but I just felt like he, was struggling to get out those words. But I mean, I feel like that is just Ryan Lochte. He had that reality show, and it was kind of the same. And I honestly feel like people deserve second Mm -hmm. chances. And I'm happy that he's on the show. I feel like we all deserve Mm -hmm. redemption. Mm -hmm. And he's there trying. He's going into the studio day in, day out. I think he's working hard. I think Cheryl has really taken a liking to him and wants to pull out this other side of him. And I'm willing to give him a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I will have to say the incident on week one is something that no one deserves, okay? Nobody deserves Mm -hmm. that. And in our our interview with him after the show, you can also watch that at etonline.com, he was really classy. And, you know, he didn't harp on the fact that he was attacked or victimized. He really was like, look, you guys, this is me. This is who I am. And I'm Mm -hmm. here to dance. And Mm -hmm. I just want to make America proud. Seeing his mom in the audience, she was sobbing. It was heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. I think I've got to say, after what he's done, Mm -hmm. I need more from him. I mean, he 
was at the bottom of the leaderboard last night. He, or, well, he was in jeopardy. We knew that. And I think that was for a reason. I think we need more from him. And I think he's really got to work hard to prove himself again. Um, we're getting in your comments on that as well. Uh, Catalina says, I think they're making too much of a big deal out of the whole Lochte thing. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and but Mark says, I think Lori has the best chance to win. And by the way, I might have said Max instead of Val a few minutes ago. So I apologize. Lori and Val. Um, by the way, love Val. Yes. Val has yeah. really like come into his own on this show. Come out of his brother's shadow. Mm -hmm. Like, love seeing him with Rumor Willis. I think yeah. him and Lori are going to be really big competitors. Yes. They're the ones to be. Definitely. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's move into <laughs> Mr. Rick Perry because so many of you are commenting <laughs> on him. Tanya says, Rick Perry can't really dance, but he's funny. Who knew? Let's uh, let's show some yeah. of Rick's moves. God bless Texas. So many Texas songs and Green Acres and the whole thing with Rick. Yeah, it, it all really fits his theme. You know what? What He said this last night. What he lacks in technique and in dance expertise, he sure surely makes up for it more with enthusiasm mm -hmm. and passion. Yeah. And I love that he's really learning to dance just because he wants to make his daughter proud at her wedding coming up in the fall. Um, he's a family guy. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily mm -hmm. voting for him, but, you know, I, I appreciate him being there for oh, the right reasons. Could not agree more. There was that cute moment with where the I think he was holding his yeah. And, daughter, and I thought that was so sweet to watch and he is a family guy and I think that that's why he didn't go home because so many people can relate to him who are watching the show yep. and they gave him they tossed him the vote a hundred percent I mean I think you saw it on all the judges' faces. They cut to Julianne, and she was like, that's this show. Sometimes you don't expect it, and people stay. No. Um, so that's why he stayed, you know? And I, I I can't say that that's a problem. That's how the show works. It's about who America's voting for, and he comes across so kind yeah. and so yeah. positive and so that he's just letting any negativity roll off his back. Yeah, yeah. love the enthusiasm. <laughs> it's crazy. You Really, anything can happen. The mm -hmm. guy who scored the lowest on the leaderboard wound up being safe, and then should we, should we get into it? Let's get into Jake. We'll show yeah. Jake T. Austin and his moves. You know what? I'm surprised that he went home. Mm. He was on a very, very hit, huge Disney show, Wizards of Waverly Place. He played Selena Gomez's younger brother. Not that that translates into votes, but I think on social media he has a huge presence. Mm -hmm. You could hear the girls chanting mm -hmm. his name from the yeah. audience. I was surprised by this. I think he's adorable. I think he's sweet. I think he showed up and tried. You could hear yeah. the conversation mm -hmm. with uh, his his dancer. What's yeah. her name? Jenna. Jenna. Yeah. yeah. You could see he cared. I shocked that he went yeah. home. I, I don't think he's a phenomenal dancer by any means, but I don't think he deserved to go home last right. night. I thought his dancing was totally copacetic, and he could have, um, you know, kind of stayed the course for at least a couple weeks. Yeah. But you're right. Like sometimes you think these guys with uh, heartthrob back mm -hmm. backgrounds, with lots of Twitter followers, are get, gonna get the votes, and they're not. It was so, so interesting because that is the whole thing: his social mm -hmm. media following, and then you've got Rick Perry who. You know, it's a totally different story, yeah. but that's how the show can work, and it shows you who's voting. I think. I mean, who would you guys have sent home? Rick Perry. Rick, Rick Perry. Perry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, that's that, sorry. That's yeah. I thought his technique was worse. I will say this though. I I I mean, it, it's a moment where you're reminded that this is a TV show. You know, mm -hmm. this isn't necessarily just about dancing. Mm -hmm. Because I will say, I didn't find Jake that enjoyable to watch. Well, I wasn't seeing his personality come out very much. I also think he had an uphill battle because mm. he was paired with Jenna, who's new, so the audience doesn't necessarily have no, the connection, that connection to her. To the partner, Whereas totally. at this point, I think Derek gets votes. I think Max gets votes. Mm -hmm. I think even Val gets votes mm -hmm. for whoever they're with. And we don't know her, so right there, that was an issue too. A hundred percent. And uh, your comments are still coming in. Megan says, "Vanilla Ice, another person to watch. Love him uh, so far." Yes, oh, talk not about agree more. a personality. Uh, First uh, of all, seeing him break dance, he is such a good break dancer. Yeah, he's I love awesome. those moves. But he said he's like, "My background is in hip hop. Mm -hmm. It's in break dancing. I know nothing about this refined ballroom <laughs> stuff." So it's always really fascinating to see someone who's literally a fish out of water. Oh, and he man, he's so hard on himself. I love it. Like mm -hmm. they said, they've got so many cameras backstage now, and hearing him be so hard on himself, yeah. and like I should have done better. It's, it's clearly everybody gets so emotional in these competitions. Guys, we are going to wrap it up, but here's the thing. We want you to continue the conversation with us over on Twitter, and also we are going to be here every week doing these Dancing yes. with the Stars Facebook Live recaps on ET because, God, if there's a show to watch and talk about, it's this one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so let us know what you think, and keep the comments coming, and keep tuning in. Here are our Twitter handles. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.